Okay, so day two, and um, where I left off where I needed stuff, which was a belt. So I got a 77 inch Kevlar belt from Tractor Supply. Get it underneath here. You see that it is in. Yep. All the way through to the back. It's in the clutch. And um, the clutch has its linkage on it now. Um, I double plated everything. You'll be able to see that in a little bit. But I double plated all the things on the clutch. The linkage goes to here. I recut it and welded it. And I have it adjusted up there. So. Here, let's see. Here's the pedal. I'm moving the pedal. I can't see there. So, yep. That's how it works. Now, I have to uh, make a, a spring mount for it now. So, I made this. This is a nut welded to the bolt. The spring will hook onto the nut. And the spring will mount to some bracket that comes off this post on the clutch. And I have a drop down bracket here. Spring hooks to that. Spring hooks to this. So this can pull and be adjustable from a mount that drops down. So, And it doesn't hit at all. Fully decompressed. It doesn't hit the shifter linkage at all. So almost ready for a test run. I'm so excited. Okay guys, so here it is. This is what I came up with. You see the seats on. Um, I had this cross brace from stock form. It had like an idler pulley in that hole right there. And I welded it right to the side there. And um, on both sides. And then I welded a, a washer to that. And um... There you go. And then I have this bolt on that is right there. You can see the head of it. And then I welded a nut to it, as you saw. <laughs> weld a nut to that. The spring goes in there. And then it just goes through the washer right here. And then it has a nut just on the other side. So when you tighten it, it just pulls this through. Getting it tighter. Getting the belt tighter. It seems that it needs to be tighter. And that's a... Uh, a big demand because um, it's pretty stinking tight as it is right now so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do I might um, I was thinking about like maybe welding a tube onto the washer and then bumping the washer out like another inch and then backing this all the way out get another bolt and do the same thing weld nut on it but the bolt would be longer um, I don't know so you could pull the spring a lot farther, but uh, that was my idea. I think the spring needs to probably be tensioned up, probably another inch or something. But it still, yeah, it still slips a little bit, or slips a good amount. So in the higher gear, so yes. And then the spring connects to that little ear right there. Right there, it's just welded on. And you can see my little linkage there. And I just cut that and welded it right on there. So, yeah, that's um the mower and uh, it's the clutch and how I did it. Just needs a little bit of tuning.